Now our coverage of the Providence police layoffs continues. The mayor says that as many as 80 police officers will get pink slips in order to help make up for a $6 million cut to the department's budget. An announcement that has raised serious concerns over public safety. Iowa to Susan Porter, Walt Pinto has the latest developments now live in the capital city. And as they try to reconfigure things here, we're told almost every officer's duties will change in some way as they try to figure out how to cover the same ground with dozens of fewer officers. On the streets near the murder on Spruce, the fear of fewer officers is very real. I live two streets over. A few months ago, our house was broken into. You know, now a murder over here. I don't know how they're going to be able to cover everything. I don't know how it's going to happen. We're told the number of layoffs could depend on other union concessions, and the plans to compensate for fewer officers are far from concrete right now. Police officers aren't allowed to comment on camera, but the Public That's Safety Commissioner tells us this. I'm confident that we can meet the obligation in providing safety to our community, but we're going to have to realign and re-engineer the Providence Police Department. And while this like resident is willing to pay more in taxes, others are not. The owner of Angelo's tells us he can't afford more taxes, and he's confident the city will still be safe. We police ourselves as well, you know, each of us uh, look out for the other person, and, and I think Federal Hill will be very safe uh, no matter what it ends up. The next round of negotiations is expected early next week. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.